Are you serious? Zechariah chapter 12. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretches forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all people round about when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. And then the Lord says in verse 9, same chapter, Zechariah 12, And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all nations that come against Jerusalem. Now, here's some information Nick of New York got to me this morning. Get a cup of coffee. This is very powerful. It's going to happen June 7th, 2013. Arab organizations in Israel and neighboring countries are planning a, quote, global march to Jerusalem for early June. And they've actually set the date, June 7th. Arabs in Judea and Samaria. Arabs in Judea and Samaria will attempt to reach Jerusalem or to the nearest point to it that they can reach. Organizers met in Cairo, Egypt and have arranged for the June 7, 2000. 13 event and just about a month from today. Now the organiz organizing committee picked a new chief coordinator. It's Rada Fami of the Muslim Brotherhood. What? Who is surprised by that? Are you serious? And he represents, he will sit on Egypt's people's assembly working for Mohammed Mercy. The fierce king, the cruel lord. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the burden of Egypt. And we know who it is. The burden of Egypt has become the fierce king of Egypt, or I think he's the 12th pharaoh, Mohammed Mercy, of Egypt. Now, this planned march will see some marchers heading for Jerusalem, while others aim for Israel's separation barrier in Judea and Samaria, fulfilling biblical prophecy that I just read to you uh, in the word of the Lord. And get this, for the Israel-Jordan border or for the Israeli-Lebanon border. So they're going to be converging on and toward Jerusalem on June 7th in a very volatile time uh, in the world history when you're talking about a potential covenant confirmed with many people. You know, the Arab League just agreed to a covenant for peace that would include Israel giving up part of their land going back to the pre-1967 border. All 22 nations of the Arab League are on board with this covenant. Now, the Bible says that he shall confirm the covenant with many people, and that's found in Daniel 9.27. So as they continue to talk about this peace and safety agreement, which Paul said in Thessalonians, when they say peace and safety, then come a sudden destruction. But these are all part of the biblical signs, apocalyptic events, which would include an, a covenant, which would probably have Israel give up so much land, even a slice of Jerusalem, for the right to rebuild the temple adjacent to the Dome of the Rock mosque that's already sitting on Mount Moriah on the Temple Mount, but the temple, a new modified version, the third temple to be built. Will Netanyahu be able to pull that off? And is that the right thing to do? Well, what does Bible prophecy say? Whether it's the right thing to do or not, it doesn't matter. It is going to happen. And the Antichrist will eventually walk into that temple and declare that he is God among the worshipers of God. Now this global march to Jerusalem was planned last year as well, uh, but the counter-terror experts found that Iran 
was back in the event and postponed it. Now, it's a very strong... They're, look, they're involved. Everybody, look, we all know this. Jerusalem is the apple of God's eye. Israel is the apple of God's eye, actually. Israel is. And Jerusalem is the city of the great king. I'm going to be there just in a few days. And, of course, I will be there uh, during the Feast of the Pentecost. But I will be there just a little bit before this event is scheduled to happen. So it's a volatile time, but uh, we expect to receive fresh revelation from the Lord himself, manifestation of his revelation of biblical prophecy, as we will be traveling to the holy sites and teaching, doing YouTube videos on location for you from Jerusalem every day, as well as doing a three-hour live broadcast every day at our website, at www.paulbabyprophecy.com from Jerusalem. God bless you. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Accept the blood of Jesus upon your heart. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll pray with you. We can get right with God today. In Jesus' name.